Hello everyone, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. I know you guys are working hard to do your day-to-day -day task in Microsoft Power BI and we are here to make your life easier. But how to do that? Well, I know Microsoft Power BI Admin is the part where you are not getting the sufficient documentation or the information, although Microsoft Power BI team is always working to help you guys. And in this video, I'm going to help you. I'm going to make your life easier while you are trying to get the audit information from Microsoft Power BI service, or maybe you are just trying to update your data sets, or maybe you are just trying to install a new data gateway or trying to add a data gateway into a cluster, etc. So everything you can do with the help of Microsoft Power BI REST APIs and how to use them, how to try them, I'm going to let you know in this video. Not only that, I'm also going to let you know about an error that I encountered myself and that was very weird. And Microsoft guys, if you are watching this video, I request you to please watch till the end so that you can help everyone outside there to get rid of this error. So if you would like to know more, you know what to do. Watch this video till the end and I'm going to help you out. Now, as you can see on your screen, I'm on a page where you can find all the Power BI REST APIs. What are the REST APIs? For your information, the Power BI REST APIs provide service endpoints for embedding, administration, governance, and user resources. But it's a bit too technical. Let's consider it's a way that you can easily manage user activities or anything related to Power BI service through a command line. But how to do that? How to use that? Well, with the help of Azure services, you can use them. And not only that, you can try them yourself without configuring anything. So how to do that? Well, if you would come to this page, so you would get there are certain prerequisites you must met. You have to go through the scopes. Please read it. If you don't know anything, let me know. I'm going to help you out. And then also you can use a service principal account. But please remember that the account that you are going to use over here when you are going to use the scopes, then it must have either Office 365 admin permissions or it should have Power BI admin permissions. Otherwise, you cannot use them. Secondly, there are certain other informations that you can go. And over here at the bottom of the screen, you can see that REST operation group. So REST operation groups are a list of groups which you can utilize for your day-to-day -day activities or to monitor Power BI service portal. Out of all these operation groups, we are going to use one for this demo and that is the admin one. So you can click on admin, but if you are more interested towards the data gateways or data flows, data set, etc., then you can use them as well. So I'm going to click over here. So I'm interested more into get user activities. So let's see which API we can use over here. If you would come down, then you would find one get activity events over here. What it's going to do, it's going to return a list of audit activity events for a tenant. If you have multiple tenants into your organization, then you have to run it separately. However, if you are just using one tenant inside your organization, then this is going to help you out. So let's click on this one. Once I click on this, then you can get that this is get activity events, which is going to be your REST API and you need certain permissions, as I mentioned. So please do read them if you haven't. Then there is a required scope and then there are limitations as well. And what are those limitations? Well, you can get only maximum 200 requests per hour and activity logging isn't supported for Microsoft Cloud Deutschland. Deutschland is Germany. If I'm wrong, please correct me. You can comment in the comment section. All right, then you get this HTTP URL where you can try it. I'm going to show you how to try that. Also, if you would like to use certain parameters along with the HTTP URL, which is your get URL, you can use them too. So you can copy this one. And there are the URI parameters. So what are the URI parameters over here when you are executing this HTTP URL, which is your get URL, then along with that, you can pass certain parameters, what you want to do, whether you want to start it from a certain time and end it for a certain time, or maybe you just want to view the reports only, etc. So please pass on these parameters. And once it's going to get successfully executed, you would get the return code of 200. If not, you are going to get a return code of 400. So that's the point I was talking about. I'm going to show you why most of the people are getting error while using this REST API. So let's try it out. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this try it button. Here you have to authenticate yourself. My account, which is connected BI Consulting Pro, already has sufficient information to execute this process. So just click on continue with this account, continue. And here we have this request URL, which is my get HTTP URL. So over here, we have to first provide the parameters. I'm going to use my start date and end date parameter. So let me just type it over here. Now you can see on your screen, I'm using start and end date time parameters over here. And now what I have to do, I have to simply run it. So this is very easy peasy to try your any of the Power BI Dash APIs. And I'm sure this is going to help you all out. Once you try it out, you think it's working fine, then you can set it up with the help of Azure services, or maybe you can just use a service principal account. All right, so here you can see that error code is 400 and the error over here, you can read it at the bottom of your screen, which is saying, set your date start time so it's before the end time. What, what, what? Well guys, I have already set up my start date time is before the end date time, but still I'm getting this error. I was, you know, getting confused. Why is this happening? Well, I have a solution for it. I have already did my research before trying it out and I found my solution. So I'm gonna let you know too. So what you have to do, basically, I'm just gonna change it from 11th month to 12. Let's try to execute now. So it's executing and now you can see my response code is 200 and it's been executed. Poof! It was easy peasy, isn't it? Yeah, but what was the problem over here? So that's what I was talking about. Whenever you are executing this REST API with a start and end date time, more than 30 days in the past, it's not gonna work. And it's weird to be honest. So Microsoft guys, if you are watching this video, please help us out how to solve this problem or how to overcome this challenge. And for rest of you guys, that was the solution for the error that you were getting. I hope this video is gonna help you a lot in your day-to-day -day life. And if you have any question and concern, please don't forget to let us know. And don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. See you in the next video.